Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the pew. pew. We have a, <laughs> we have something new. Something new, brand new, never well, never seen before. Tomorrow is our debut at the Wow Cafe Theater in the East Village. Please join us. Be there or be square. Yeah, that's a wrap. <laughs> and among the special things that we will have there it will be um, a documentary of your debut at the select art fair not we, your debut my debut, your debut. <laughs> michael's debut at the select art fair we made a documentary it's going to be for sale at the wow cafe theater and we are going to post it on our youtube channel it's going to be a pay-per-view so you're not getting a it pay for, for pay-per-view yeah <laughs> so for those of you super fans that just can't get enough we'll post it there in the next few days or the super fans that just can't get enough but have a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is a dollar and a dream. <laughs> okay, so. We were talking about acronyms the other day. Just say, you know, <laughs> sitting around talking about Rat- acronyms. It was breakfast time. And- breakfast conversation. Chap- breakfast of champions. Talking about acronyms. Well, first of all, you were kind of confused between the difference between an acronym and an anagram. Right. <laughs> Um, an anagram is where you take people's names and you switch the, the letters up and just spell something else. Right. Whereas an acronym is just the initials of a phrase or right. expression. Like, wow. So we thought there should be a Rorschach test for acronyms. Now you guys know what a Rorschach test is. It's, it's a that blot. It's, it's like an ink, ink blot. blot. And what do you, what's the first thing you see when you see this ink blot? Right. So, for example, this one. Wow. Which could be World of Wonder, or that's all it could be, right? <laughs> or women, the, 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 the women's... Women on women. Women on women. No, that's not what it is. <laughs> women of the world. Women of the world, right. The Women of the World Theater that we are going to tomorrow. <laughs> A great theater. Best theater there is. On East 4th Street. <laughs> or, wow, we're We are outrageous, outrageous and wonderful. <laughs> Um, J- I've, the JPEG, I've always wondered what that is. Everybody's, you know, I'm, when, I'm, when I first came home and we were doing all this meeting, they're all like, can you send me JPEGs? And I'm like, what the fuck is a JPEG? Now I know. Just pick everything and go. That's right. Yeah. Um, an MDMA. That, it's not, not the Madonna album. Um, and, it's, and it's um, not a designer drug. Either. No, it's Miss Diaper My Ass. Right. That's something you'd hear at the box. Yes. <laughs> or or <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Miss or Mr. <laughs> Miss Mr. Diaper My Ass. Yeah. Or the, what was that club in the uh, early 90s where people would go have fetishy sex? Oh, uh, um, you mean uh, Hain Club? Yeah. Uh, Maison uh, de, de, de Sade. Maison de Maison Sade? De Sa- no, it wasn't Maison de Sade. It was over in the meat market district. Wasn't there like a fetishy sex club there where... Paddle? Because I, I remember going to this fetishy sex club in the early 90s and... People were having sex and doing all kinds of kinky things. Oh, I'm talking about the restaurant where you eat out of the high heel shoes, yeah. and you, they tie yeah, you I to the, that they tie you to the chair and whip you, and while you eat and force you to eat ice cream out of a high heel shoe. That was Haynes Restaurant. <laughs> URL. Oh no, it was Maison de uh, Josette. Josette. Oh, not Josette. That's Dark Shadows. Um, what's the book by the Marquis de Sade? The famous one. I don't remember. Yeah. So it's a culture URL. <laughs> you might think it stands for Universal Record Locator. But it stands for You're Really Ugly. And that, <laughs> that does not stand for You're Really Ugly because those are not even the correct letters. See, he's getting the anagram and acronym mixed up again. Oh. Okay. You're really lucky. Oh. <laughs> you're really lucky you're not ugly. <laughs> I need glasses is what I need. <laughs> You're really lucky you have glasses. In the no, I'm, I don't have glasses. I lost them. And I can't find them without my glasses. <laughs> Michael has lost like five pairs of glasses since he got out of Peru. Because when I'm not wearing them, I can't find them. Old people problems. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the pew. 
Welcome back to the pew. The pew. Where we and are going to touch threatened gonna... to fire Scott. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, all we have to do is find another person who is good looking, smart, funny, who will do the job for free, has his own equipment, and who will um, put up with however, put up late, however you we are. late I am and do everything we ask. Once we find that person, mark my words, we heat out of here. Now, <laughs> um, right now, though, we're going to talk about... Um, about uh, The New York City dinosaurs. Yes, the dinosaurs. Um, now, you might think the New York City dinosaurs are some strange gaggle of reptilian people. And you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they he are. said that, not I. <laughs> they are. They are, in fact... Fabulous luminaries. Free Drinkosaurus Rex. <laughs> well, I didn't see too many free Drinkosaurus Rexes. <laughs> um, no, they were all by my own Drinkosauruses, with my own money sources. Um, and which really shocked me that everybody was clamoring for drink tickets. I think I was the only one clamoring so, um, for drink tickets. Facebook has this page that I am a New York City dinosaur, and I belong to it. And uh, and it's a lot of old people from the club scene from the 90s and 80s who've uh, made a page to reminisce about the old clubs. And on Wednesday, they had a party at the former club called Nell's and to relive old times. And you know what? Except, I always hated that club, though. <laughs> except that... It, we live old times, except um, it's a facsimile of old times because it was at um, seven o'clock at night. <laughs> and a more appropriate time for well, people of that age of, of that stage age, okay. in life. Because because if it was really you know emulating that age, it would have been more like seven o'clock in the morning. Well, in the old days, it might have been seven o'clock in the morning, but. They all got to go to work the next day. They were playing old music from that time. They 90s were, but and all 80s. of the, all of the all of the old. There music was some soul to soul yeah. playing. I remember there was some Todd Terry in the house. There was some deep house. deep house. It was fun, but we didn't stay that long, and it was nice seeing club promoter Steve Lewis. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, I love Steve. Who knew everyone? Yeah, of course. And um, he said, oh, Michael, come, come sit at my table. Uh, we're going to sit at my table and everything is going to be great. We're gonna have fun. So I sit at his table and everybody comes over. He's, well, I won't, I'm not going to say what he's said. <laughs> Every time anybody came over, I'm not going to say what he said. But, um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> bitches want to know. What do bitches want to know? Lauren Swanson wants to know if you would ever do an episode of Transformations with James St. James. Um, I don't know. I guess we will call RuPaul and ask her if that's if we are allowed to do that. Um, I don't know if you could because that would require you doing a makeover on James. Well, it would require RuPaul first saying that I could do it. So, which would require doing a makeover on RuPaul. Um, that's not going to happen. Um, I, I, and again, it's up to her. She, if well, she if will, I were invited, if she will allow would, such a thing, we'll, we'll go do it. If I were invited, I would. I would gladly do a makeover. I, I, oh, place. I would do it if she allows it. So, rule. Can I do it? Stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>